Hello and welcome to your August 18th full moon reading, Geminis. Sad Naram, Namaste. My name is Dharamkar. You can reach me at dharamkar23 at, g- at gmail.com. That's dharamkar23 at gmail.com. So, this month we're going to use the Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg deck. It's a deck I've had for 20 years. So, a little piece of information for you, Gemini. We call upon Mercury, the ruler of Gemini, the messenger of the gods, all messengers everywhere, powerful spirits, Hanuman, the monkey god. We call upon the servant messenger. We call upon information. We call upon the servant messenger. Spirit guides, would you please let the Geminis know what they need to know with these cards. And feel the air pressure changing. Winged merchant, winged messenger, person of internet, person of phone, person who is there in spirit. Connect me now. The universal cosmic consciousness message. All of the messengers from all of the pantheons throughout time. Let us know what we need to know. Archangel Gabriel, the Great Annunciation, I call upon you now to please help us. Please help us understand. Give us some love and guidance through these cards. For Gemini. Ruler of all things, multiple pea pods, little seeds, ferns, lilies of the valley. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And our hidden message is judgment, the judgment card. In the judgment card, we have some freaky, freaky imagery, symmetry, I should say, also, which for Gemini is appropriate, the twins. Judgment, the Archangel Gabriel blows a golden trumpet while soaring on a cloud that resembles the lower part of an egg. Three people emerge from graves carved with Russian crosses. Atonement, judgment, the need to repent and forgive, the moment to account for the manner in which we have used our opportunities, rejuvenation, rebirth, improvement, development, promotion, the desire for immortality, legal judgment in one's favor, One should carefully consider how present actions affect other persons. Eternal life. I would read that to mean infamy. Positive fame. Ah, And if there's one thing that Gemini really understands, it's PR and marketing and distributing information. So, where are we now, Gemini? Who is the questioner? Six of Cups. We have two people putting flowers into dishes together happily. This is an abundance of happy emotion for you, Gemini. So summer has treated you well. Memories, past influences, things that have vanished, childhood past, nostalgia, faded images. Perhaps you have been thinking a lot about your memories in your past. Perhaps you've even gone back 
to old schools or old homes, um, looking for a sense of family, something, something you feel um, an innocence, a nostalgia that you would like to rekindle your inner child. What crosses you is the Nine of Clubs. What is going on for you now is expectation of difficulties and changes, anticipation, hidden enemies, deception, discipline, order, a pause in a, co in a current struggle. So, you've taken a moment and you expect some issues. This is about as opposite from an inner child as you could hope for some sort of discipline, order, structure, um, and you're hesitant. Uh, you're at a standstill with this. You don't know how to deal with this. It conflicts that other influence. Above you, in the realm of thought, you have the chariot reversed. So it is seven reversed chariot. Though the horses wish, to pull in different directions, the Russian knight who drives the chariot manages to go forward. The initials of the artist YS are on the front of the chariot. Reverse meaning failure. To lose at the last minute something otherwise in your grasp. Sudden collapse of plans, overwhelmed, failure to face reality. But in this place, these are your concerns. These are your worries. However, they are not real. They are not what is occurring. You are concerned that your inner child cannot cope with these obstacles. In your recent past, the magician, the first card, there you go. Sudden transformation has occurred. The young Slavic man sits at a table on which are the symbols of the tarot suits of swords, cups, and coins. He holds a wand and drops a coin, gold coin into the cup. Above his hand, head is a winged lemuscape, which is the infinity symbol. And upright it means originality, creativity, imagination, spontaneity, self-confidence, ingenuity, flexibility, and masterfulness. So we can certainly see what has led you to this Six of Cups. You, you have attained something great, and you have allowed your inner child to come out through it. In your distant past, we have the world. And the world is a wonderful card. It is the culmination of all things. A crowned woman dances in space. Behind her, is the earth. The divinatory meanings are attachment, completion, perfection, ultimate change, the end result of all efforts, success, synthesis, fulfillment, capa capability, triumph and undertakings, the rewards that come from hard work, eternal life, and the admiration of others. So, you've reached a lot of turning points recently. And now you are just concerned with obstacles. But be aware that things look very much more difficult in your mind. You may be worrying about things which are not necessarily actually happening. Not really realistic, as this Nine of Cups clubs points out. And now, in the future, your... motion towards the future is ruled by the two of clubs. This is your influence which is coming into being in the near future. So it is in front of you.
mature individual, a ruler, attainment of goals and needs, boldness, courage and undertakings, a dominant personality. So stand in your truth, Gemini. You are where it's at. You were right before in the distant past. You were right and took up action, right action in the short term past. And now you are reaping that reward, communing with your inner child. Do not be concerned about any obstacles. You can deal with them. You're a confident person here, a ruler. And all your obstacles are only in your head. So, in your environment, I see the Knight of Cups reversed. And this is, excuse me, the questioner's present position or attitude within the circumstances. Um, so your current attitude in life is the Knight of Cups reversed. And the Knight of Cups is an invitation or opportunity However, in the reversed, it's subtlety, artifice, trickery, a sly and cunning person, a person capable of swindling. There's someone you don't trust around, um, and this is, is something you object to. Uh, there is somebody pulling the wool over your eyes. Any kind of deceit or dishonesty, you won't stand for it. Um, so, how is your influence on others and what is their influence on you? Eight of Swords, reversed. Your environmental factors, Eight of Swords, reversed. Here we go. So, with the Eight of Swords reversed, we have Treachery in the past, difficulty, hard work, depression, disquiet, and accident. I would say that you are carrying baggage, baggage around from the past, stuff which has been a long time coming, long, long time ago it happened. But this is a time of Chiron, and we're entering Virgo. And that means that you will have an opportunity to self-cleanse, self-heal, and um, this will make you stronger. It will give you the initiative as a leader and to step forward and take that next step that you're looking to take. Your inner emotions at this time past the environment that you're having a hard time with right now. Your inner emotions is the Ace of Cups reversed. And with the Ace of Cups, it is change, erosion, instability, sterility, and then stagnation. Unrequited love, clouded joy, false heart, and inconsistency. So, you are of two minds, Gemini, as so often happens for your sign. And whether sun, moon, or rising, you are facing an, a change, an erosion, an instability right now. Um, and you don't like it but you need it. You need it to step forward into who you really are, a ruler, a leader among men. Um, that's the God Mercury was the fastest of all gods, the messenger of the God, and had so many more superpowers that were used so much more often than so many other gods. Um, if you think about it, someone 
who is that fast could travel through time or do almost anything, accomplish almost any task. So you have that energy, Gemini, and you um, just need to get out of the environment that you're in that is causing you pain and step forward into change. It's, it's going, it's, it's something you don't want. This inconsistency or this um, deception for a little while or um, this total erosion of your belief systems, of your way of life. However, it is something that will lead you to this final culmination. Let's see what's in your final culmination. The Seven of Clubs. There you go. So this is fantastic because this is your success. This is your goal attainment. This is your key for this month. This full moon when we can set our uh, intentions, see the fruitions of our former intentions and then become a kindle and with with gratitude and set new intentions further from here. Um, this is what these cycles of the moon are all about is God's grace in our lives, uh, the Creator's grace, the universe's grace in our lives to help us achieve greater and greater higher vibration within. So Seven of Clubs is success, gain, overwhelming odds surmounted, advantage, and victory. Um, and, and that is what you are looking for, is that victory. So what I think you need to be most concerned with would be this reversed Eight of Swords. Be concerned with your environment. Create a peaceful, sustaining, nurturing, soft environment for you to come home to and enjoy. Be around butterflies. Be around some place that kindles your imagination, sets your soul free. Uh, eat a lot of greens right now uh, in this time, a lot of seeds. Um, anything that has multiple seeds in it, um, any type of um, uh, pea pods or um, kernels or things like that where there are multiples, those are the foods that would resonate so well for mercury and food can translate to your information as you unlock your DNA during this amazing uh, period of transcendence that we're all in. So, uh, I wish you complete blessings. This, this getting your environment set uh, will help you attain your goals and um, no doubt you will have final judgment. Your, you will feel that you have somehow healed uh, a long-standing amount of baggage that you've been carrying or a long-standing issue you, that you've had uh, just in general. You've climbed a lot of ex obstacles to get here. So um, you should try to feel better Try not to worry yourself so much because you are on the path to your goals, to your greatness, to your own highest purpose. So if I can help you in specific, this was a general reading, but if you would like a specific reading for an individual, please write me at dharamkar, that's uh, 23, at gmail.com. You can also donate via Patreon or um, pay via PayPal. Uh, also, you can reach me through Bizarre Bizarre Emporium .com. Thanks so much. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye. Namaste. Satnam. Blessings. God bless.